Just for you guys, let me do a little strip tease. Oh, you thought you're gonna see somebody, huh? Nah, nah, nah. Welcome, welcome to the beginning and the end of my Hoarders Trilogy. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of just reviewing one Hoarder, I'm going to look at a bunch of crazy ass hoarders. I've compiled a bunch of short clips of a few different hoarders and then I'm just gonna rate them in my list of worst hoarders and I just, you know, I just thought three wasn't enough, you know, to really put into perspective of how terrible the poop lady and the chicken lady is. Since it is the third and potentially final video that I am gonna do on these hoarders, I'm gonna do something a little special. I'm gonna do a little bit of hoarding myself. So every time I hear some dumbass shit or just see something just ridiculous. I'm gonna put on a piece of clothing. Oh yeah, it's gonna get real hot up in here real quick. <sighs> yep, so let's not waste any more time, fam. Let's dive right in. Let's go. I'm Linda and I manage a storage facility. Oh man, she owns a storage facility. This is already going down the wrong path. If you if she's the hoarder, bro, GG. GG. She <laughs> Take the stuff and sort through it, see if there's anything good or whatever. Then have a garage sale. It gives me something to do, make a little extra money. And it's got to be more than I would imagine. It. Good idea. As it says here, her husband passed away, so it's sad. She wanted to find something to do, make a little extra money. You know, that's all good. I'm fine with that. <sighs> it's what happens next that is going to be... Uh... As I approach Linda's house, there's a sign on the door that says go to the other door because I actually can't get in. She can't even get in? Oh, okay. That's stupid. I have my little paths here. You can see I've made an attempt at sorting, but I get so far and I get frustrated and overwhelmed. So you're a sack of shit. You get, you procrastinate, you get distracted easily. Having pathways in the house because you can't walk in it freely is not something to brag about. Look, this is our dining room. Look at these pictures. These are memories. You can't have these memories if it's covered up. I'm assuming this is her daughter. I think what she's trying to do is show her some memories to help give her that idea that, you know, you can live in those memories in this house. We can just get rid of the clutter and then you can, you know, live freely and really breathe and enjoy yourself. And the stated before that her hoarding issue generally came from, you know, the fact that her husband had passed away and this is just kind of something to fill that void and she's in denial. Maybe her daughter is trying to spark up some memories to help her, to help just bring her back to reality and be like, look, it is what it is. Instead of dwelling in the past, we can live in the now. If you let the house get clean, mom, you can have the memories. Yeah. 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 But mom, these are my memories too. Well, how could they be your memories? You know, you're busy doing drugs. My God. <laughs> This bitch is a savage, what? Okay, look, if your child has overcome a drug problem, one thing you probably shouldn't do is remind them about it <laughs> and give them shit for it. As the mother, I mean, she clapped back, it's fine, you know? And you're too busy hoarding now. <laughs> that deserves a piece of clothing. <laughs> is it hard for you to look at candy? No, it's hard for me to look at him, my husband. No, I'm not gonna have that thrown in my face. I'm not throwing it in your yeah, face, you Mom. You are throwing Norman in my face, and I don't I'm not throwing see Norman it. in your face. I'm down. Mm, take the, take the memories. Take it. I said this in my last video, but it's hard to feel sympathy for someone that doesn't want to help themselves. You know, like you have a whole team of people. It's not just one person. You have a whole group of people that are really trying to help you. And you just find excuses to push them away. It's just really hard to sympathize. No, 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 no. Linda. Linda. She ain't even trying. I swear she's like, you know, she sounds like one of those like yoga instructors. No, 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 Linda, Linda, that isn't the downward dog. You're thinking of doggy style. Please place your buttocks up into the air and feel the burn in your legs. <laughs> Bazinga. What? <laughs> Why is this episode so funny? Linda, Linda, you need to cool off, all right? You just need to relax, 
Okay, smoke a little, and then maybe yeah, suck on this icicle, suck on this ice pop. It you'll you'll feel so much better. You'll cool down. Mm. I do feel better. <laughs> I guess I'm eating a banana for the rest of the episode. <laughs> Ten tons of hoarding. I just don't understand. Could you really not stop yourself at even one ton? Like one ton, like my car is like 1.3 tons. So imagine putting ten cars into your house. It's absurd. Put a shirt on after this banana. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everything I went through is worth it. Because if I had my house back. Well, we hope this is just the beginning. It is the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. That, yeah, that was very wholesome. I'm glad to see that she just really understood the calamity of a situation and just let go some of her pride and ego and was like, hey, look, I got to move forward from this because it is a devastating thing getting over someone as close as your partner passing away. I can, that's definitely something that's that's very hard to accept. So props to you, Linda. Get a good big thumbs up. I still got to put on a shirt. Hold on. Shout out my boy Leo and all the big babies. That's me over here. Woo! Fun fact, I actually edited that, uh, his merch video there. All right, we're moving on to the next hoarder now. Damn, this is only the second hoarder, and I am, ooh. <sighs> I can feel the sweat building already. Damn it. This shouldn't be here, man. I'm not tolerating this crap anymore. I walked into my bedroom, and Patricia had clearly hidden some stuff. Okay, so the hoarder for this episode is Pat, or Patricia. And she has a boyfriend, Bill. And I find it super hilarious, um, these couple hoarding episodes. I actually love them because I can't possibly imagine myself in a situation where I'm dating a hoarder. Like, obviously, everyone has their own preferences. And to be honest, perhaps she wasn't a hoarder before they started dating. But can you really allow your partner to get this far into their obsession with hoarding? I would have tried and done something to stop her, at least when I started seeing things being brought back home, you know what I mean? Like, come on, what were you thinking? Hey, honey, I just bought some new baskets for the garden. It'll be nice. We can start picking our fruits and all that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, honey, I bought us a new TV. You know, the old one was getting kind of dirty, but we can move the old one to the garage and we can use this new one for our bedroom. Yeah, yeah it's, cool, it's cool, cool. Hey, honey, look, I got some new garden gnomes that we can put. I know we don't really have a garden, but, you know, we could just put it in the front. You know, that'd be cool. But, I mean, they come out back. I need your help. Why, right, what's up? Do you, do you need a carry? Yeah, I got about six bags of horse manure. We can use this to grow our garden. You get rid of things like that, I have to resort to going to a violent mode. Shout out to the homies that want a nun. Shout out to Ben. No, you don't have to resort to violence, my friend. You can be frustrated. You can be a little bit angry, but you don't have to grab a hammer and Thor smash things. Just communicate. Tell her you don't like it. And if you have communicated with her already and she's adamant on keeping these things, A, to me, that's a red flag. You either got to let it go or B, you know, I don't know your circumstance. Maybe you need each other or whatever, but you just need to be maybe a little bit more assertive and uh, just move these things out. Bit by bit. Who threw this stuff out here? If you want to start throwing stuff, I'll start throwing your stuff. Go ahead. It's garbage, Pat. Go ahead. I've only got three things. You practically have shit all over the house. Throw it. Throw the three things and I'll throw everything else out. <laughs> I'll decide which garbage and what's not garbage. Oh, well, when it's near my bed, it's my territory. They maybe When you have to say things like, this is my territory. <laughs> Are you even in a relationship, bro? Oh, this is. Shout out Usuri, Usuri Brown Bear. Shout out Leo. That I can what do you think paid for your car and your coffee and your cigarettes? It certainly wasn't that suitcase. It's been sitting in the same place for five years. I mean, he's not wrong, okay? She tried to come up with the whole like, hey, yo, my hoarding is paying for all, all of this. Your livelihood, your cigarettes, your coffee, your crack. But you ain't selling that to nobody. This shit's been sitting there for like five years. It's all about you. All about Patty. The hell with Bill, the hell with Jenny. Let him burn. Squads are just waiting in the back like, yo, should we, uh, should we intervene? Like, I mean, I mean, I guess he's doing our job for us. We need to put that trash in the, in the dumpster, but. Amongst all the stress, you just gotta light up a cigarette like that. Like, no care in the world. Like, come on. Oh, this relationship is very toxic, very dysfunctional. I don't like. Even you need to just counsel him. What's going on? That's junk. It needs to go away. She will take this, hide it either in her truck, and then when I'm not home, she sneaks it back into the house. You need to counsel him. 
and then proceeds to snitch on everything that she's done, and she's like, "That wasn't me." I'm paying for cigarettes. Argue like- and talk over one another. I got Bill with a hammer, really upset. Bill is your significant other, which means the significant. This guy is emotional. It's just like, uh. I mean, she's an other. I don't. <laughs> I just want to point out that a relationship isn't just 50 50. It's more like 100 100. Because if it's 50 50, then you're relying on your partner for that other 50%. When really it should be two 100% full, whole souled people contributing together to make one super humor enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? He doesn't need to break stuff so it's all over the driveway and I have to pick it up. I. I understand. Can you just listen to what he's saying without talking? Yeah. Can you just listen and shut the fuck up? <laughs> and Bill, you are not Thor. You are four hammer hits away from a lawsuit, okay? <laughs> if I don't completely destroy it, it will end up in another place for another time to be brought back in if I leave. Okay, so that's some destructive hoarding right there. See, this is what I mean by the whole partner thing is super hilarious. Because when you buy yourself as a hoarder, you can just hoard things, you know, it's a problem. But when you have a partner that's concerned as well, it's either they're very accepting of your hoarding and become hoarders themselves, or you're kind of ruining their lives. And she's kind of ruining this dude's life. Well, he's making it very apparent <laughs> that he's annoyed and frustrated. I can't believe she would just sneak shit back in like there's no care in the world. Wow, that is stupid. Once again, shout out to the bro Leo. I got you, son. I want you to tell me what you hear him saying. I hear him saying he doesn't like the junk. The junk's paying all the bills. These shares are ten dollars each. I got I could sell them. It may take a little time. Does any one of you have a job? That's what I want to know. That'll pay the bills. You're spending ten dollars on the chairs and then you're selling them for what? Maybe I wouldn't even pay ten dollars for the chair. Like if I'm gonna be generous to you and help you make a profit, I'll pay fifteen. Maybe twenty. Okay, if I was a little bit more fortunate. Fifteen, twenty dollars, all right. Let's say you have two chairs, that's like five, ten dollars profit. Is that really paying the bill? And then she says it's gonna take a while, so it's not profitable at all. So the video ends quite abruptly there, so I don't know what happened, so I had to search it up. And apparently Patricia has now passed away. So first of all, my prayers and condolences to your family. Hopefully her family had sorted out this whole situation and maybe she lived a a more peaceful and happier life towards the end of her. You know, I got more beef with the boyfriend, Bill. You know, to be honest, I did say before that as your partner, you should try and not allow your partner to get into this hoarding state. But at the same time, there's a lot of different circumstances here. You know, from the looks of it, I don't think he even has a job. Like, he could at least have helped her sell these things. I could be wrong. He might have a job. But then why would she keep saying it pays the bills, this, that? What <laughs> pays the bill? <laughs> it literally pays bill. The one thing I've, I've noticed is that the hoarding generally comes from a sense of loneliness as well perhaps she had kids and maybe they just needed to visit more often and that might have helped solve her problem just a little bit ah <sighs> but i'm gonna put on a piece of clothing because bill is a piece of shit <laughs> I feel like Chinese Santa Claus right now. All right, moving on to hoarder number three. We got a man named Dennis, and it says here he has one million pounds of trash. That's 453,000 or 54,000 kilograms. How is this even possible? Let's find out. I'm Dennis, and I am a retired architect. I've never thought of myself as a hoarder, but I'm hoarding. I know that. That doesn't make sense. You're hoarding, but you don't consider Consider yourself a hot <sighs> Still got one more singlet, baby. Anyone entering the house immediately becomes aware that there's clutter here. I don't even need to enter your house to know that there's clutter. Are you? <laughs> Aww. Hallways that are crowded to the point where you can barely walk through. Items at the bottom are being crushed. Everywhere you turn, you're going to find clutter. What I want to know is when this guy even started hoarding and why he did it. He's reached a point where he doesn't even know what some of the stuff he has is. So what was the motivation for you to even do this? Some of the stuff is being crushed. So they're being destroyed, essentially turning to garbage. So throw it out. But I feel like he's hoarding shit outside as well. Because there's no way that you have 450,000 kilograms of shit just in a house. I've acquired quite a bit. What the fuck? Was that from some horse porno or something? Like, what the- What's with the blindfolded horse? Oh, God. 
There's a lot of lumber here. There are scrap metals, five motorhomes, which are stuffed full with things, over a dozen cars. I will never in my lifetime get to do all that my ambitions have drawn me into. Well, how rich is this dude? He has like caravans and they're all hoarded up. I guess he said he was an architect, so he probably did use the material before, but he's retired. So why do you keep all this shit unless you have projects you want to do? He seems like the guy that's like, okay, I'm going to do this project today and then gets halfway through it and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to start doing another project and he starts working on something else. Ah. I don't know if you can see it, guys, but I am working up a sweat right now. I am dripping, dude. At this point in time, I need to help my wife with almost every life activity. Uh, I'm going to have to acknowledge that this is probably not a safe environment for even an able-bodied person. The sad thing here is clearly his partner is somewhat disabled in a sense, and she cannot move, maneuver around herself in the house, and he has to help her. And now he's saying some stupid ass shit like, I have to come to terms with the fact that this house isn't safe for an able person? Dude, it's not safe for anything. For animals, for humans, for the items you're hoarding. Bro! <laughs> oh, I was holding my sneezing for that whole sentence. Oh my god, I had to get my mini fan out. Okay, I found a hack. Hats are pieces of clothing too, so I'm gonna stack on a few hats before I uh, start loading up on the upper morning again. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Matt Paxton. I'm an extreme cleaning specialist. Damn, Matt. Look, man, what is this, season 11? I don't know what season the uh, chicken lady and poop lady was, but um, hairline's receding a little bit. Man, this show is tragic, not only for the people that are participating and showing their hoarding tendencies, but for the people helping you, too. Man, my guy's stressed, son. Damn. Hey, but I do want to say, though, mad props to you for helping these people straight up, straight up. End of day four, we cleaned a lot of trash out, over 500 tons, which is a million pounds. We didn't finish, but we did a good job. They haven't even finished yet. You don't recognize this room anymore, do you? No. no. It's quite a bit different. Check this out, dude. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. wow. The whole thing is raised. The bed is kind of like a hospital bed. It can go up and down, which is great uh, due to his wife's condition. I'm a piece of shit because I was under this assumption that the door was like, hey, yo, check this shit out, bruh. Look at this fresh bed. Like, oh, wow. The mattress is so soft and clean. <laughs> I bet you've never slept on a clean bed in your whole life, have you, buddy? Mm, like, what is so cool to check out about this damn bed, bro? Like, okay, one more hat that makes me feel good i think this is gonna be the way i want to keep it my god can you imagine if he was like i fucking hate it this is terrible where's all the clutter where's all the stuff i don't want to keep it this way put some shit in here all that stuff you do outside put it back inside right now like <laughs> Okay, I'm literally burning up and dying right now, but we're gonna do one more hoarder. Uh, so this one is essentially another partner situation. Uh, the hoarder here in question is Carol, and she lives with her husband. Yeah, you already know me. I enjoy the couple ones. These ones are gonna be hilarious. I'd love to see the husband's reactions. So here we go. It's easy t to happen if you're interested in a lot of stuff and you collect it. Well, I mean, to get to the state where you're at with your house, I don't think it's that easy. You say it's easy if you're interested in a lot of things. Hell, I'm interested in a lot of things. You don't see me hoarding a bunch of shit. Like, I don't have that many anime thing. Okay, actually, you know, I do have quite a few things. I just don't have them out. <laughs> it takes a certain kind of dedication. I don't know if dedication is, is the right word. Motivation. Uh, actually, I don't even know if that's the right word either. But it takes a some sort of, some sort of, some sort of perseverance to be able to put yourself in this kind of living situation. And when you have a partner, I'm really excited to see what he has to say about this. I do have an interest in garbage and dirty clothes because there's clothes everywhere. You couldn't have at least put that in your closet or drawers. Do you play any of those board games? They just stacked away. You know, it's, it's, your logic doesn't make sense. Oh God, I'm gonna have to. <sighs> you know, eventually things can get out of hand and it's all my fault. That's all my fault. <laughs> it's almost like she doesn't even believe it herself or either that or she's kind of like, is it my fault though? It could be my husband's fault. Maybe he's he's the one who got me into all this shit. Like, my name is Dave. Carol is my wife. I think Carol is a hoarder. Absolutely. Carol, yeah, she a hoarder for real. 
Me? Man, I hate this living situation. What, what is wrong with her? I just want to walk around, drink my tea, do my Tai Chi and this and that. But she got her shit all over the place, damn it. Gerald brings things in, but very little of it leaves. <laughs> she brings a lot of stuff in, and none of it goes out. Damn it, Carol, please. I'm suffocating. At this point, the house is full. And I mean full. Dave is the funniest guy unintentionally, I swear. The house is full, and I mean full. Like, full to my butt. Like, but he's true. Like, dude, how do you even get upstairs? The whole staircase is blocked up, bro. Like, what the fuck? Sad is the condition of my house. Sad is the condition of this house. Sad is the feelings that I feel now. And I especially like that elusive thing that maybe I'm chopping for, you know, something special. Man, money is a crazy drug, isn't it? Obviously, in order for you to hoard this amount of shit, and even to have a house this big to, to hold everything in, you need a, a substantial amount of money. I assume they're both probably retired. This is just excessive. I would rather, even at that age, put my money towards something that can get me more money, like an investment, and that way I can provide for my, my children, my future. This is just bonkers. Carol, any last words? No, let's get on with the show. Okay, we've got 24 tarps full, and there's more coming out. This lady loves her job, huh? We've got 24 tarps out, and we've still got so much more to go. We're gonna load 20 dumpster trucks, and guess what, guys? We've got 10 more coming. Woo, I love trash. She needs to have her own, like, children's show or something, where she throws out children's toys and garbages and watches them cry. I, I don't know. I, I just, uh. I really never thought we'd make it to this point, but the house is really looking beautiful. Wow. It was such an exciting feeling walking into the house. My eyes went right to the staircase. Oh, trust me, girl. That would have been the first thing I looked at, too. The staircase. Wow. That's nice to see that they can actually reach the second floor now. That's cool. I want to know how they got up to the second floor to film. I mean, obviously, they probably just trampled through everything. Or there's another way up. It's been a life-changing week. And I hope that it's good for the family. And it will continue to be good for the family. So... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know what I should have done is put on some pants as well. I didn't really have to torture my upper body like this, but <laughs> I just can't take her seriously. We'll see what happens. What do you what do you mean by that? Are you gonna start hoarding again? People that wear glasses down here. Oh wow, look at this. I'm I have so many clothes on I can't even touch my face there we go <laughs> are you actually gonna stop hoarding that is so sus God. okay but that is the end of today's video thank you guys for pushing through with me i am sweating my brains out right now my bolos are just dying but what we're gonna do obviously is rank these uh hoarders and figure out where they stand with the poop and chicken lady now i'm gonna be completely honest and it's i think it's quite easy to say that the poop lady is number one, still worst hoarder, and the chicken lady also number two, as their cases are quite extreme, and I did get to dive in a bit deeper with them. Ah, with these guys, it's gonna be a different story. Okay, so we have Linda, the storage facility owner. We have Patricia with her partner, Bill. Dennis, who hoards million pounds of trash. And we have Carol with her partner, Dave. Okay, so at the bottom of this list, I'm gonna go ahead and put Patricia at the bottom. And I don't think her hoard is as bad as the rest of these other hoards. She doesn't have that many things. And, you know, there's a lot of circumstance behind her hoards. You know, she's obviously trying to pay bills and stuff like that. At least she has some sort of intention. Right above her, I would put Carol there. As Carol, again, she does only hoard one house. But in saying that, it's still pretty intense. It's kind of innocent, you know, it's not too bad. Now, next on that list, I would put Linda there. As Linda, in terms of amount of things hoarded, she's definitely up there. And her hoarding obsession can be fed constantly due to her work environment. The fact that she has constant supply to things, whoo, that is a dangerous situation to be in. And of course, on the top of the hoarders, garbage, king of the hill type beat is my man's Dennis, purely for the amount of shit that he is hoarding like wow dude 
how many years did you put into this this is just crazy but yeah thank you guys all for watching i am dripping in sweat right now i'm actually struggling to speak to you guys i'm, I'm actually having a really rough time right now but i really hope you enjoyed that video it was a little something different to what i would usually do and in fact i actually quite enjoyed this challenge but i guess this is what a hoarder feels like or actually i guess this is what a hoarder's house feels like i am the house and this is the stuff on it but uh yeah anyway if you guys enjoyed this video and i was able to make you guys laugh feel free to like the video and if you want to see more content like this feel free to subscribe and yeah otherwise everyone have a lovely beautiful day night evening wherever you are in the world stay safe much love i'm alvi peace <laughs> Up.